Hey, good morning, morning, everybody. So another great day here in Jersey. Uh, so this morning we're gonna be doing a, uh, a, a restaurant that what I do or a monthly restaurant that we have. And then we're gonna go on to a residential account. Um, then uh, the rest of the afternoon, I didn't, I didn't schedule anything. I was able to move some things over uh, to, for the next day. Only because I need to catch up. I gotta get back to my desk. We're gonna catch up with some uh, billing. Uh, just to check the, the, you know, the outstanding uh, invoices and also catch up with the current. I got, uh, I got some invoices that I got to catch up to. It's important that we do our billing every day. I try to do it every day. Some days, uh, yesterday I finished late, so I wasn't able to, you know, finish. But so today we're going to do that. We're going to make sure that everything that, that has to be billed and invoiced that it gets done and, it, uh, and sent out. It's important to do that to make sure you have your, uh, uh, your, your flow of money coming in. Uh, I hope uh, you guys like the content. Uh, any questions, please, suggestions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get right back to you. Uh, and don't forget, please, to forget, uh, don't forget to, uh, to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so another very important part of uh, what we do uh, is keeping track of our invoicing. Uh, it's very important when you're running your own business that you stay on top of your billing. 
uh, a lot of uh, some of the customers, not all of them, but uh, some of my customers that I do, uh, we do handbills, um, uh, hand invoicing. Uh, so I do, I get paid on the spot for those. Uh, then, the, then I have uh, customers that we have uh, monthly uh, contracts with, and those guys, uh, those uh, those customers, I do through invoicing here at home. So what I try to do with my schedule, I'll schedule some appointments in the morning. Uh, then I get an afternoon uh, t a break where I get a little bit of an hour or two. And uh, between that time, I try to schedule a few minutes aside uh, to catch up on the billing. And while I'm out on the road doing the, the stops, what I'll do is I'll make myself some notes, whether write, you know written notes uh, on a sticky note or, or my phone, uh, so I can keep track of the billing. It's important to stay on it. Uh, you don't want to do your billing at the end of the week. I try to do it every day because uh, uh, once you get your uh, your billing uh, on, a, on a consistent basis, you'll be able to uh, put them out uh, all the time, and then you're going to get an inflow of, of, uh, of ink, uh, your money is going to be coming in consistently. That's what you want to do. You want to you make sure that every, every week, every day, uh, you're getting some money in, whether it's through your uh, customers that you get paid on the spot or, st or the checks that come through the mail or direct deposit. Uh, the invoicing is very simple. I use a simple program. I don't get it. I don't get too complicated. I don't have any subscription. I simply bought a, uh, a simple invoicing program. I'm not going to give you the name because I'm not affiliated with anyone, but if you're interested, uh, feel free to uh, you know write me a, a note and um, I'll get back to you as to what I'm using. Uh, it doesn't have to be very complicated. Again, it's mainly uh, to keep track of your billing making sure that you stay on it, that you know who owes you money and who paid. You know what I mean? So you keep a balance with your, with your income. All right? And uh, that's all that is.
Okay, so we're all geared up and we're just uh, inspecting, uh, going through uh, the cab, making sure through the bed, bed uh, compartment and the little cubby holes that they have in there for storage, going on the base and the base of the bed, um, anywhere we can possibly find the, the bed bugs. Uh, so we did a thorough inspection first uh, before we started our treatment. So right after the, the inspection, I went, uh, we got the BNG. The BNG is all set up with the chemicals for bed bugs. And we treated all, you know, the entire, all the surfaces, uh, the, the floor, the, the walls, the seats, everything that can be treated with our, with our uh, solution. We treat it, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and spray for crack and crevice as well. Okay, so uh, part of the uh, bed bug treatment, uh, uh, bed bugs uh, require uh, uh, several different chemicals. So I have an IGR in the tank, which is called an insect growth re regulator. Uh, I also have the residual in the tank. Then we go ahead and spray uh, with uh, the aerosol. Aerosol uh, is designed to be able to spray in all surfaces, including the sleeping quarters like mattresses and wherever you, you lay down, pillows and such. Um, that usually, that chemical is also designed uh, to uh, kill the eggs. If there's any eggs uh, that we can't see, no, they're very tough to see, they're out of sight, then uh, that spray will take care of it as well. When treating for bed bugs, uh, for the, your treatment to be successful, you have to pay attention to detail. You cannot, um, you know, leave uh, er, uh, take anything for granted. Everything is treated. Uh, in shelves, uh, under the shelf, on top of the shelf, uh, on the seats, over, around, under, every every nook and cranny, uh, you have to try to get that spray, uh, get you know, treated. Uh, they they're they're very elusive. I mean, these uh, bugs hide in the in the craziest places. They're not hiding just one particular spot. So you have to pay attention and everything is treated. Okay, so once we're done with the uh, liquid solution, one of the last steps we take uh, is uh, to apply the dust. The dust, uh, like the liquid solution, gets applied uh, as what we call a crack and crevice. Um, again, uh, this is a very fine dust, uh, and as you can see a little bit on the on the video, uh, it goes airborne fairly quickly. But once it's down, it's pretty safe. Um, it's not uh, it's not going to uh, be harmful. Uh, you just got to make sure you put it in places um, that are you know that these the bugs could be hiding in. And in this case, I can see it behind that speaker. 
uh, in the cracks of, of the unit. Uh, if you're doing it in a, in a home, on the sockets, I mean, these, uh, these are places that are common. Uh, cracks in the walls, uh, those are the areas. Kickboards, uh, if it's in a home. And in this case, uh, again, on the edges, on all the seams here of the tractor, uh, we're trying to get it, uh, trying to get the dust in there. All right, uh, dust is very important. Again, it's another, another, another barrier that we're putting, uh, leaving behind to make sure the job gets done correctly. All right, all right, so we're all set for today. Uh, so we finished the day uh, kind of interesting, something unplanned. Uh, actually, it was a phone call we got uh, this afternoon to go take care of a uh, tractor. The gentleman called that he's been having issues with uh, bed bugs. Uh, he's been dealing with it for a couple of weeks and he uh, couldn't seem to get rid of it. So we went in there, do a full treatment in that, uh, in that tractor, you know, the uh, driving area and the sleeping area. Uh, took care of that, uh, should be in good shape. I was able to record so you'll be able to see the, the type of the stuff that we did uh, in that tractor. It's about the fourth time I got, it's not something, uh, not something regular for pest control, but uh, it's, uh, it, it happens. I, ha I had another one not too long ago where the lady had roaches, uh, which is kind of strange, but they had roaches. It was a built-in cooler in the back of a SUV and uh, it was full of roaches, uh, which is again kind of strange, but the stuff that we, uh, that we uh, encounter in this business. Uh, so we uh, had a good day. Wasn't you know? Uh, we planned it out. We had the restaurant early this morning. We did a, a residence that we had to uh, follow up on with roaches. Uh, wasn't a big deal. Um, uh, just uh, ba basically monthly maintenance in that in that apartment. And the, the paperwork that I've been uh, putting aside, and I finally got to do it. And uh, we finished off with this tractor. So we had, overall, we had a pretty good day today. So I hope you like the video. Hope uh, you like what we're doing. Uh, if you do, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below or suggestions. Just the same uh, and I'll get right back to you. Okay. Thank you for being part of this. Bye-bye.